Hi everyone, this is Kristen with Ripple Effects, and can you believe it? I am talking in a video. What is going on? So I wanted to make a video going over mica powder and bath bomb or bath powder cleanup. If you're someone who uses these types of products a lot, then you might be aware that they sometimes leave residue or color behind. And there are times where it is actually pretty tricky to clean up. So why does that happen? And how do we make cleanup easier? For this video, I'm mainly going to talk about two main factors. First, how the product is made, like the ingredients. And second, the surface or materials of the bathtub. Alright, up first, let's talk about mica and lake dyes. Mica powder and lake dyes are often used to bring shimmer and color to bath products, but these powders are not soluble, so that means that they will not easily mix into water or oil. What they need is an emulsifier like polysorbate 80. This is what allows the oils and powders to mix together rather than basically sticking to everything else. So the key point is that poly 80 is what keeps mica and lake dyes from sticking to the tub and your skin. Trust me when I say no poly 80 equals one big mess. Now let's talk about surfaces. When using bath products, it is important to keep in mind the material that the bathtub is made out of. Most bathtubs are made from things like porcelain, fiberglass, and acrylic, which are easy to clean. However, any porous, rough, or coarse surface is way more likely to actually become stained. So for example, at the house that I used to live in, my bathtub had this rough material on the bottom that was to help prevent slipping. And you can see in this old footage I have that it is discolored black um, and that was something I was never able to get cleaned up so this is definitely something you want to be aware of. Now let's talk about cleanup. It is normal for there to be some residue left on the bathtub. What should happen with residue is that it should wash and wipe away pretty easily. But if it is not easy and you are really having to scrub, then I recommend a few things like a rough sponge, warm water, and bleach or other bath cleaning products. I also recommend cleaning the tub as soon as possible. Unfortunately, discoloring is a risk when using micas. If you make bath products, then I recommend just really making sure that your ingredient proportions are correct and that you're testing your products well before selling. If you are a buyer and you are really concerned with discoloring your tub or sink, then I recommend testing a small portion of the product in a bowl before using or making sure that your tub surface is not something that will easily stain. I've been making bath powder for two years now and I've been using bath bombs since around 2010, so that's about 11 years. And in that time, I've only had maybe two or three bath bombs really do a number on my tub. So it isn't common, but it does happen. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this video was helpful with explaining mica powder, why it leaves residue, and how to clean up. Please check out my other videos and my shop Ripple Effects on Etsy. Have a good one and happy bathing!